Uh, the unknown. Jesus Christ, there's the cat breaking shit. Re-recording this video because as you can see, my cat destroyed one of the animals on the new bookshelf. That's the thing with having those freaking Bengal cats as they're 24 seven jumping around all over the place. Anyways, if you wanna leave the agency matrix, which I define to be the rat race of growing an agency where you're never really reaching beyond $100,000 per month and you, you don't really know how to scale and it's, it's just freaking unknown unknowns 24 seven, that I define it as the agency matrix because it's really like, you don't even know how to freaking get out of this like 10, 20, 30,000, $40,000 per month range. And, and, and you've been there for a couple of years and you're like, you know that to get to 50 or 100, it's not that hard. You just need to get like 20 more clients. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So if you, if you wanna you know, grow to 75, $100,000 plus per month, great, fantastic, let's talk about that. If you don't, go ahead, take the blue pill, click another video and get out of here. Uh, this video probably won't be for you. So, so there's four pipelines that you need to master if you want to break free from this agency matrix slash rat race thing. These are the four pipelines we're going to talk about and, and, and you, you start to recognize them at different phases. I've been very fortunate to have grown the agency to a point where I could recognize all of them and then relay this information to you. So the first pipeline that you need to master, everyone knows this one, it is quite simply the marketing pipeline. Okay, so this is all about bringing leads into the pipeline. So basically, how do you get uh, qualified discovery calls? Okay, we'll call that DC. How do you get the attention of uh, your ideal prospect or someone who can pay you two to five to $10,000 per month? That's marketing, right? How do you get their attention? How do you get them on the phone talking about your service and, and then eventually pitch them and, and, and uh, you know, close them. So that's the marketing pipeline. That is the very first thing that every agency starts off with. They need to figure out how to get their first client, how to get their fifth client, how to get their 10th client. This pipeline will never go away, but it's the first pipeline that you need to master to even start an agency, okay? Now, once you've kind of mastered the lead gen code and you've cracked the lead gen code and you know how to get people on the phone with you, there's this kid in the program uh, in, in my program, Agency Enlightened, and or Lead Gen Enlightened, we're gonna change the name soon. His name's Pablo, uh, I forget his last name, Sands. And he has cracked the lead gen code. He really figured out how to get these discovery calls on demand in a repeatable fashion. And now he's cracking the second pipeline code. And this is basically one step down the funnel. And the second code is quite simply the conversion code. So how do you actually close this person? Now we could probably even get rid of this but how do you actually convert this person right here? We're gonna call this conversion, so CVR, and uh, close them on the phone so that they can pay you two to five to $10,000 per month. So that's the second pipeline that you need to figure out, which is basically closing the deal, okay? And then believe me, marketing and sales are two totally different things. Yes, they are very similar, but uh, marketing is about attracting the lead and getting their attention. Sales is about closing the deal and, and getting them to sign a contract with you or at least pay you the two, three, five, ten thousand dollars per month. Great. So the thing is, is when you're starting an agency, you need to focus on mastering these two pipelines. Okay. Now, what is the third pipeline? This one's very interesting. And so many people think that they need to master this before they can t touch, uh, before they can touch marketing and sales. This is the service delivery pipeline. Okay. So this is all about and you can see I barely spelled this correctly. There's supposed to be a C here. Service delivery. Okay, so this is about getting your clients the desired result that you likely pitched them on the sales call. Okay, fantastic. The thing is, is you don't need a masterful service delivery blueprint when you're starting an agency. I had no service delivery blueprint when I started Better AMS. Um, and as a matter of fact, the first client that I had signed was about $4,000 per month. No idea what I was doing. I didn't have a service delivery blueprint. I focused on the marketing funnel. I got some qualified sales calls. Then I focused on getting my sales calls done. Then I closed the first client. And when I closed that first client for $4,000 a month, then I was like, holy shit, okay, now I need to figure out the service delivery thing. But it doesn't really hit you in terms of how important service delivery is until about five to $50,000 per month because service delivery goes beyond just having a great service. Uh, it goes, it leads to you know, retaining clients for years, which is the fastest and easiest way to make a lot of money is just retain people for longer time periods. They're already paying customers. It's easier to retain someone than it is to go get a new customer. And then the second thing is just, um, 
actually increasing the maximum capacity of your agency. So if you have an automated service where it's very easy to manage $30,000 per month worth of clients by yourself, then you can make more money and have greater profit margins. So service delivery pipeline, people start to focus on this somewhere between five to $50,000 per month. It's a mistake if you're focusing too much on this less than $5,000 per month. Really, it's not worth it. You need to, you need to really just spend 70% of your time on marketing and sales until you're doing about more than $5,000 per month. Then you can start to spend maybe 50% of your time on the service delivery uh, and 50% on the marketing and sales. But uh, the point is, is that this is the third pipeline that you're gonna need to master if you're gonna wanna break free from this agency matrix. And the final one, this is the most epic one ever. This is the talent pipeline, okay? And so many people, no, nobody talks about this. This is the one that we're, we're, we're going through right now. Uh, it, it's the most painful one to, to try to figure out because if you have high standards on the people that you wanna hire, if you have a great culture and you wanna maintain that great culture and you don't, want, you don't want bureaucracy, you don't want drama, you want to maintain an amazing family-like you know, culture of people who are all relentlessly driven to the same goal, then you're gonna to need to figure out how to find these people, how to retain these people, okay? Those, those are the two things. How do you find these, these amazing people that you want to hire and how do you retain them for years? Because imagine that you have an account executive who's been with you for only 12 months. Let's say he's not happy with the culture, okay? He's managing $30,000 per month worth of business for your agency right now. We got an account executive doing, who, who's managing about $35,000 a month uh, worth of uh, clients in our agency. And what if he's like, I'm out of here. Here's my 30 day notice. I, 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 don't, I don't like the culture here. Now let's think about how much that costs you, okay? First of all, you probably invested a ton of time training this person. So, do that, that does a ton of time to train them. Probably training alone, in terms of the amount of time and energy you put into it, or other people on your team put into it, it's probably about ten to fifteen thousand dollars if you're factoring in the time aspect. Even if you have really great uh, like videos and modules that train people, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of intangible one-off calls that happen with new people that come into your agency because training just doesn't cover 100%. It covers the 80-20, but the 20% is still important and that stuff is covered with one-on-one -on -one calls with throughout you know various people in your team that speak with this new person. And if they leave after 12 months, all of that intangible training is lost and it costed 10 to 15,000. Not to mention finding this person, if you're paying like LinkedIn ads, if you're paying, if you paid a recruiting agency, 50% of the first year salary and the first year salary was $45,000 and you paid $22,500 or uh, I don't know if I did my math right there. Yeah, $22,500 to, to, to get this person. There goes, now we're at like $35,000 wasted. Not to mention if this person leaves and they're managing $35,000 per month, you're gonna probably lose a solid five, ten thousand dollars per month worth of those clients because now you have to hot potato thirty five thousand dollars per month worth of clients onto another person's plate and you don't even have that person. You likely don't have the capacity for that for, for anyone on your team to manage that much. So you really need to freaking hurry up and hire someone in 30 days before this person leaves because they have a 30 day notice. And if you hire too soon you may hire someone that's a bad fit. So you see where I'm going here. I mean there is so many areas where you can just like fall through a crack and die. And, 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 and it's been very crazy navigating these like stormy seas of like getting the agency to above $100,000 per month because really there's no one online that's talking about how to get there. I, I've, I've relentlessly looked over the years, I've spent a ton of money on courses and all of these courses really, there's nothing that's 100% focused on how to scale an agency to seven figures with you know, marketing, sales, service delivery, talent, these four things, it's, it's, it, I haven't seen it, I haven't found it. So anyways, if you've seen it, if you've found it, drop a comment in the below, I'd love to find it. And uh, with that being said, the talent pipeline is all about finding and retaining great talent. So this is the, this is the one that we're running into right now. It's a huge problem because every time we grow our MRR by 10 to $20,000 per month, we need to hire another account executive if we're planning on being proactive and not overloading our team with clients. If you have account executives, or even if you don't, you know, what happens is, is you need to be proactive in hiring people so that you don't you know, burn out your, your account executives because you're giving them so many clients and they just can't manage those clients. And it deteriorates their morale and the, 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 the results of the client. So anyways, 
this is a big rant. These are the four things you need to master if you plan on actually growing an agency to a level that is in the top, I don't know, three to 5%. I would say less than 5% of agencies are doing over 100,000 a month or just seven figures period and retaining seven figures. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. I don't know if this was helpful or not, but for me in my head, I'm like, holy shit, I wish someone would have told me this because too many people, they get stuck here, okay? They overthink the service delivery. You don't need to overthink this thing. If you're doing $5,000 a month or even $10,000 a month, that's great. But like until you crack the code on marketing and sales, the service delivery is not really more important. Of course, it's, it, it, it's important. But the, the, the reason why service delivery is not more important than marketing and sales in the beginning is because if, you're, if you don't have a niche, that is easy to scale in. For example, you're dealing with people that aren't really that fun to deal with, clients that don't really have a whole lot of money, they can't really afford to pay you three, $4,000 a month and, 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 and pay you that for years to come. You're fighting, you're, 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 in, a, you're in an environment that's hard for you to scale, okay? And a good book is The Blue Ocean Strategy where you're going into a micro niche where it's blue ocean and you can become a big fish in a small pond and easily get to 50 to $100,000 per month, okay? That is kind of what I'm talking about. And, and, and you don't know if you're a big fish in a small pond until you master the marketing and the sales. So if you get lost in the sauce of service delivery and just constantly trying to tweak your service, you're never going to get to 50 or $100,000 a month. At some point, you have to realize that, you know what? Your service, it's important. Yes, you can't just spend no time on it. But to be relentlessly improving your service and not focusing on your marketing and your sales and trying to innovate in these two pipelines, before you get to 10, 15, $20,000 a month. It just doesn't make sense, okay? So anyways, with that being said, let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments section below. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna post the cat thing at the beginning of the video or the end of the video, but hit that subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next week, ciao.